Eckhart isn't the only person captivated by Hitler. In the crowd is a young university student, Rudolf Hess. And he's very young, very impressionable. From a wealthy family, Hess had been a brave and disciplined soldier during the war. He too had found refuge in the mythical politics of the Tula Society. And the moment he hears Hitler speak, he falls under his spell. He goes back home to his girlfriend and says, I've seen this man. His adulation of Hitler, he pours out to her in this long description of messianic quality of the man he's, he's met. The now devoted Rudolf Hess throws himself into doing Hitler's bidding. Uh, he, he has a need to admire and respect uh, worship. Hitler seems to have been rather cool or cold, but didn't move Hess the other way. It made him even more attractive. Another founding member, the ever-loyal Rudolf Hess, is also forced to flee and makes for the Bavarian Alps. Hess is a fascinating individual, fascinating personality. He had an affection for the movement, but particularly for Hitler as a figure, that goes beyond mere political judgment. Hitler calls his book Mein Kampf, My Struggle. But in reality, Hess is the co-author. Together, Hess and Hitler create what amounts to a racist Bible. But although proud of their achievement, Hess takes no credit, happily devoting his efforts to serving his leader as best he can. Hess had a capacity for calming Hitler and making him feel better about himself. With the party on its knees, Hitler is now free to rebuild it in line with the new political vision, forged with Hess. But old school fighter Röhm believes any revolution must start with a putsch. Röhm talks to revolution and Hitler says very dramatically, Revolutions follow takeover of power, they don't precede it. We take power first and then we have a revolution. Hitler says to Rome, you've developed this huge political army and revolutionary danger. I don't want that, that is not what I expect you to, to do. And Rome clearly is in a great huff about this. Despite targeting Rome's homosexuality, Hitler isn't that receptive, but the plotters know which buttons to press. A disgusted Hitler finally gives the conspirators the green light. Now, it's open season on Röhm and his essays.